Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. HGA Today is a public forum of student expression. Students make all content decisions and opinions do not necessarily represent those of Horse Creek Academy. Howdy, Stallions. Today, we see a drone go head-to-head -head with a race car. HGA Today starts now. I'm Izzy Wicks, and it's Monday, March 4th, 2024. Today is National Grammar Day. A team of techies create a lightning-fast drone just so they can keep up with a lightning-fast car. See which took the checkered flag as Jeremy Roth explains in today's Take a Look at This. Watch a sleek F1 race car go head-to-head -head with what's being called the world's fastest aerial drone. Red Bull commissioned the ultra-quick drone design from a team called the Dutch Drone Gods in order to showcase their brand new race car's track chew and chops. What they produced was a drone that could accelerate twice as fast as the car and hit an F1 caliber top speed of 217 miles per hour, which was more than enough to stay hot on the heels of the driver, Formula One world champ Max Verstappen, who said he was truly impressed with how the drone kept up. It may not have been with record-setting speed, but this dog took off like a shot after getting spooked by a car accident, and you won't believe where she went. Melissa Fickle says Aries was in the car with her right up until the accident happened. As soon as I felt and heard it, almost instantaneously, she was out the window. Fickle later got a call from Aries' doggy daycare facility, located a mile from the crash scene, which is where the spooked but clearly very smart dog apparently ran to looking for help. He called me and said, she's here. And I, I literally sank to the ground. Finally, a Florida teen was arrested after a surreal odyssey of his own when authorities caught him after climbing a 1,600-foot transmitter tower. Deputies were there to make the arrest, but also seemed suitably impressed. We made it all the way to the top top. Yeah. It's pretty crazy. The 19-year-old, who posted some dizzying shots to social media, reportedly said he wanted to catch the sunset from the tower's top. That's nice, but don't do that. Great shots, but yeah, don't do that. For Take a Look at This, I'm Jeremy Roth. This March is Women's History Month. The trivia will test your women's history knowledge. Hello. Hello. This is Mr. O'Leary's room. How can I help? Just calling to check up on you. All right, thank you. I'm gonna let you go now. Hello. Hello. Hey, Jeff. Come help me. What is it, Danny? The teacher wants us to move that picture. Hey, Frank. Can you grab that painting? Who's Frank? Oh, looks like Nikolai's put on a few pounds. What's he been eating? Charlie, I'm going to be honest with you. I do not like this painting, Charlie. Smug aura mocks me. It's evil, Charlie. That wraps up today's show. Reporting for HCA Today, I'm Izzy Wicks, and it's a good day to have a good day.